Hey guys, welcome to another guide video. This is Kitty, aka Ben. I think it should be the other way around though. Uh, this is Ben, aka Kitty. So I'm here with a drawing formatted video. Uh, I normally have this on my channel, but I decided to do this to kind of see uh, what kind of reaction I get. So let's talk about the topic of the guide. Um, let me ask you a question before though. What is the most important resource in War Robots? Uh, it's definitely silver and gold. So in this video, I'll actually talk about how best to use your silver. So you need to understand this kind of relationship. Uh, there's inflow of silver and your savings are in the middle and there's outflow. But I like to put it this way though. You earn silver and then your silver savings get piled up and you invest. When you're investing, you kind of feel like you're making it rain. But in reality, we really crave for silver. So it is really important that we use it well. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. So I think it should be AG, AG or silver, silver bills, y'all. Let's make it rain guys. Silver, silver, bills y'all. Nah, we won't make it rain today. Uh, I just said that because it kind of sounded cool. So since we went over that relationship of earning silver and piling up your silver savings and making it rain, or I guess you could call it invest, let's uh, stick with that relationship and uh, first talk about some of the ways you earn your silver. So firstly, as you can see, uh, we get a we get a huge chunk of silver from Battle Creed. But most of the silver that you make will actually come from the battles. After a battle, you get a big chunk of silver and then some keys and a little bit of gold as well. So here are the main things that we spend our silver on. They are mostly uh, upgrading weapons and robots. So other than the upgrades, uh, we have the workshop production. Uh, that's how we mostly get our gears now that and the battle creates components But as far as silver goes uh, we make it rain in the workshop production, but Making it rain in the workshop production might just not be a good thing I wish there was a war robots pawn shop where you can kind of go in and trade in your inactive items for some silver But that doesn't really exist. So I guess I can help you a little bit with this guide today so the easiest one that I like to point out in this guide is don't throw away your silver. What I mean by that is uh, don't sell your items that are inactive and that you have upgraded. So there are constant buffs and nerfs in this game and you might be actually using that item in the future. So you might be thinking you might get 2 million silver for selling this item but remember all the times that you have grinded for to upgrade that item. So you might end up with silver crave syndrome, you might just have it anyways but Especially if you have sold that item that you uh, upgraded before and you're doing that all over again, uh, it's gonna put you in a bad spot. So I guess this is an ideal relationship that you kind of want to have. Um, you want to use the least amount of silver and achieve the most amount of performance. So because of that, uh, we really have to talk about hangar decks. So when you're upgrading robots, most of the time you really want to achieve level 9 because all the robots max out their speed at level 9. However, you really want to prioritize your weapons over your robots. So for example, if you have your robots at level 9, you really want your weapons to be at level 10. I guess that's the best way of spending your silver because um, as I said before, upgrading is kind of like investing. Prioritize your weapons over your robots, uh, you'll probably get more damage. More damage means more silver. Prioritizing your weapons over robot you will get higher return for your silver spent. However, there are some exception to that. Um, some special skill dominant robots will be exception to that because as you level them up, their special skill performance will actually increase and those bots performance will be heavily dependent on its special skills. So for example, if you look at Mender versus Pursuer, Mender is definitely a special skill dominant robot because you can heal multiple players. So with Pursuer, if you level it up, just like any other bot, the only thing you're getting out of is the HP and you don't get more seconds off your stealth. So as I was making this video, I kind of thought which special skill bot that I really benefited from and that is Bulwark. Some special skill dominant robots like Bulwark is definitely worth up, uh, prioritizing and upgrading just because uh, being able to stay in the game, pace yourself with a durable shield that can block anything and another physical shield while your other shield is recharging, it makes a huge difference in your damage output. 
um, especially having a mid-range setup. So the last thing I want to mention about best use of silver is about workshop production, especially with the new components though, because um, obviously with the new components, they take a lot of silver. If you have limited inflow of silver, um, you really want to limit your output of your silver as well. So with the new content item components, you really want to save up half of it or more than half of it through the battle crate and then use workshop production to finish it off. So if you use workshop production to get an item off scrap, that'll definitely drain your uh, silver savings as well as your soul. So that was end of this guide best use of silver um, that was a little bit indirect but i still think if you're investing in something you should get the most out of it and you should really get most performance out of your silver i hope you guys check out my channel as well it's probably linked down in the description or you can search me um, and i really thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys later